Um, my camera just my my phone keeps I'm just gonna wait, I guess. But um it's too slow cursing. But whatever. So I'm I went to the laundry whatever twice, but I was so confused because I'm like the washer thing, sometimes they have like two machines. Um they have like two machines, so it's like it's complicated. Like I have to ask someone to like explain to me how it works because I don't know. And then the landlord was like, let me just like install. I'm oh, sorry. Let me just install. Um, well, okay. So it's but let me just install the washer dryer before I'm leaving. Like, okay. Last week was a mess also because, like, they just, I don't know. I just don't. I hate when communication isn't clear. Be like Tuesday to you to this. No, no, be there. Da, da, da. Okay. I hate when people are like, like, I get it. Okay, we're all kind of like, a lot of people are people pleaser. I'm a people pleaser. I'm a recovering people pleaser. But it's like, if I'm asking you, do I need to be there at this time? Yes or no? Okay, don't start to be like, but if you can't, but if, like, I'm very simple. Okay? You tell me what you want, and I tell me what I can give you. So, if I'm asking you a question, yes or no? Okay, don't start rambling about your life or whatever. I don't give a fuck. Like, I'm going to be honest. If I don't know you and we're trying to plan something, don't try to like I ask a question, it's very direct. Yes, no. My face was like, do I need to be there at this time? Cause last week they were trying to like put something so they can put the washer. So the electrician or whatever, they have to be there. It was so fucking awkward. Cause it's like at first they they were like, Oh, you need to be there. Then I was there, then the landlord was there. I, w I was not trying to be there when the landlord was there because, like, I'm already apartment sitting. Like, I'm already looking like I'm a freeloader. Like, I'm not comfortable. Like, he's a chill guy. I'm just not, like, I'm just not comfortable, right? So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go do my laundry, like, at this point. And then, like, it was supposed to take, like, an hour. It was taking the whole fucking day. I was going back and forth. It was so awkward. And I'm like, oh. God. like my anxiety was just rising because i'm like i don't know where i'm supposed to be right now anyways boom so imagine if i was working like <laughs> girl like how are you gonna work they were literally like putting a hole in the wall i don't know what they were doing but it was taking hours and hours so i'm like whatever it's not my you know it's not that big of a deal so then this week my sister is like and mind you the um they always say like a time and a place and then they switch so it's like je ne comprends pas okay je ne suis pas je ne comprends pas je je suis confused okay 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 yeah, yeah. okay yeah so after that this weekend was weird as fuck i don't know what the fuck i was doing because i'm just gonna expose myself because fuck it i need to talk my shit i don't give a fuck okay uh but this weekend obviously i'm like on dating apps that's like another thing that i'm like what the fuck anyways i'm on a dating app because i'm like you know what i'm a girl i have needs i want to like make out with someone and like i wasn't gonna plan on doing the whole thing like obviously like whatever but i met with this guy and he's a poly whatever polyamorous or polyamorous anamorous or amorous um <laughs> no tea no shade i just don't like it i don't like i've never been like a open relationship but like a poly so i don't know okay whatever um but sometimes guys, guys be saying like oh i'm in an open relationship and then they be cheating right but then this situation i think it's actually true but it's just like i don't know the whole situation creeps me out but also like i kind of like the guy but he's kind of ugly like i don't know it's not ugly but like i don't know <laughs> I, oh my god it sounds so fucking annoying and mean but i mean like it's fine we all have our types but i know like you know there's some guys fetishes like black women like i know he just even though he he did the whole like oh my gosh i want to get to know you like tell me about your past like ugh. whatever like i know he just want to fuck like because uh, ultimately he was like oh like i usually have sex oh i don't know if i'm supposed to i can say this on here but he was saying like he only hooks up with people that he knows meaning he probably sleeps with like his friends or the girls <laughs> but, mm -hmm. okay you know power to you is just not my thing whatever yeah yeah so back <laughs> basically the story that i was supposed to say is that this week okay my sister texts me because it's still kind of like looking at her apartment whatever but she's not living in there she's living in a new apartment and like whatever okay so i'm just staying here for a couple weeks until i like get my shit together but um 
tell me why we're gonna go to the guy and then after the the whole washer dryer so the guy whatever we match on bumble for like we talked for a couple days i was like honestly i haven't been doing shit okay like dating wise i i have these i'm a girl okay i was just like a little horny okay i wasn't like in love or anything but he was fine like for me he's fine because he's like kind of weird i know it sounds like mean but i just like guys that are not like conventionally attractive but he is attractive it's just like kind of like uh, okay as a girl that knows when she's doing too much i feel like he has he has like he has the charisma he is just tall he got the beard but you know he'd be doing too much okay he'd be doing too much like physically whatever um but because when i because like he's attractive but i don't know how to explain it like i'm black obviously so i feel like if you're i'm not saying if you're black and you think he's ugly but he's just kind of like hipster and that's just my vibe like what's my vibe anyways so but he's like charismatic whatever and i saw that he was poly after because i don't read bios like okay? i just read books like why am i like why am i trying to read your bio for what for what i'm kidding anyway so i didn't read his bio and then he's a, in a polyamorous relationship which means he has a girlfriend and he has like literally like everybody else that he wants and i literally was like wait you're in a poly uh poly relationship he's like yeah and i was like kidding i was like you want your cake and you want to eat it too meaning like you're greedy it was like yeah like agreeing so meaning he just want to fuck like it is so um sorry i mean he just wants to like have whoever he wants but then his girlfriend is not even like on his social media like i think i saw one video of him and his girlfriend like talking he was calling her baby and i was like i'm going to walk into traffic because like i literally feel i know maybe they're like actually open but it's just weird that like his girlfriend is black and i'm black and he's white. i don't know like it just sounds like a little fetish i feel like when someone dates only people of like other cultures it's just like a red flag for me because it's like i get that you have a preference but it's just a little odd that your preference is like everything but your own color right anyways i'm just saying that okay because i've been there been there than that you know what i mean but um okay anyways but anyways i don't give a fuck um so basically we kind of were talking for a few days and Like, I don't even know what happened, but anyways, we were talking for a few days, and then he asked me out on a date. I don't want to go on a date, because I don't want to date him, right? I just, anyways, so I'm like, I'm trying to like, because I, okay, I don't mind if we go for coffee or something, or because he was trying to go to a restaurant or get drinks. Like, you want me to be hammered? Like, what the fuck? And also, I don't want to eat with someone that I don't know, like... Anyways, so I'm like, can we do something chill, like a little coffee thing, like a little, you know, like I want to be sober, but like not have a whole meal, like, ew. So he's like, yeah, we can go to a coffee shop, blah, blah, blah. So I agree. Um, Saturday we go, like, no, he comes to my place, like he doesn't go in, but he waits for me like outside, because then he said that he didn't have a car, so I'm like... <laughs> Anyways, I don't know if it's a like red flag, but he was like, he took the bus, like I'm not doing this, I don't have a car, okay? But it's like I don't have my license, like So I have a car and I'm like, you know, I think now the obviously
So the story continues. <sighs> so basically we're talking, whatever, and then he wants to like meet up and like take me on a date, right? So I'm like, boom, like I didn't want to go on a date. I hate going on dates in general. I think it's like you just get anxiety for no reason. Like this guy literally is not gonna be your husband, like no offense, but like on dating apps, there's like low percentage yeah it can happen and like yeah it does happen like it did happen in the past with people i dated a guy from a dating app but it was like unexpected right so it wasn't like oh like and i get it like you can find someone on there i'm just saying mm, i was like i just knew he wasn't like the one so i'm like why am i gonna spend my time going on a fucking day that's like four hours eating sh i don't know what and he was vegan and i'm like i don't want to eat meat in front of his face like so it's like, I'll be, I'll be like calculating everything, okay? Because it's like, time is mine maybe. But anyways, so um, I'm, I tell him like, I don't want to go to the restaurant. Like, I don't want to, like, I feel like it's a red flag too if a guy wants to go for drinks. Maybe it's like, here it's normal. Like, I, I know in Montreal, like people just go for drinks on the first day and then after they have sex, whatever. But I'm like, isn't like a weird thing? Like the first time you want to see someone is when they're like drunk anyways but it depends if it's like unexpected you're at the bar and you see someone and he's cute and then da -da, boom but if it's like plan ahead and go for drinks like i'm not gonna take you seriously because it's like you want to see me drunk the first time you meet like i like to drink and that's the thing it'd be hard for me to be like no i don't want to go because i like to drink i like to drink but i don't want to drink the stranger <laughs> um so whatever so he's like ooh, like he's like you're a little you're a little sassy i'm like what the fuck that was kind of cringe because i'm like when a guy that's like not black says i'm sassy i'm like i don't know why it's cringe but i know that i am it's just the prerogative anyways so it's like oh you're a little sassy you're a little sassy whatever like guys love it like especially they love it when you're like because I wasn't even trying to be extra. Like, I just don't want to eat with you. Like, I don't think that's extra. You know, about to fucking break his ego because I'm done with this shit. But anyways, I'm kidding. Um, not really. But, um, he played my face again. Because I just be choosing the weirdest guys. Like, he is attractive to six feet. Like, a tattoo, beard, glasses. Um, but he was talking way too much. Like, I'm sorry. I talked too much already. Like, we cannot be too. But, um, anyways. So we go, we plan for this day, and then I learned that he doesn't have a car. And I'm not hating, but I'm just like, I'm tired. It's the winter, okay? I don't want to take the fucking bus. <laughs> I already take the bus in the metro by myself. Like, I don't want to go on a date and, like, take the metro with you. Like, I'm sorry. It's just not my thing. Like, and it depends. Like, if we're in love and, like, oh, my gosh, like, maybe I'm going to close my eyes. Like, I don't know. But... <sighs> Okay, I'm gonna shut the fuck up. Honestly, I sound like Trisha Paytas, and I hate that. <laughs> I'm gonna lose my shit. But anyways, so um, oh, I have my glasses on top. Girl on top. I'm just... So he works, right? Okay, we're supposed to meet up Monday. I I don't I don't know it's my fault because I was too like thirsty and like whatever. Okay, I haven't done shit, so I was like, I need. <laughs> something okay okay but um because we're supposed to meet up monday and that was the weekend and he was working friday night because he was like we can see each, other, see each other friday night for drinks or monday go for like a date date and then at first it was like supposed to be monday because i'm like okay we're not gonna go eat at a restaurant but we're gonna go like get coffee but then 11 like around like friday around 11 i was a little i was a little like thirsty you know, not gonna lie, not gonna lie. I was a little thirsty. I get it, 
but like yo girl was like i've been like celibate right <laughs> that shit is hard because i'm attractive and people are attractive so it's like anyways so i messaged him being like yeah like va vamos like anyways he was supposed to like i know i should have like not but i don't regret it i had fun but anyways basically i was like i want to see you like get your ass over here like i just like things to be done the way that i wanted to and i want things to be done on my time and i know that's a little like selfish but it is what it is and i was like i don't want to i don't think i i want to see you like monday like daylight type vibe i didn't say that but i was like i want to see you now so after work he came over oh shit Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Yeah, he did come up. No, no, wait, wait. After work, I ch decided, like, we should hang out instead. Now I'm fucking confused. Oh, I was, like, <laughs> making noise. But so basically, we're supposed to hang out Monday, which is yesterday. But then I changed my mind. I'm like, you know what? Let's just hang out Friday, right? Like, vamos. Like, come see me, baby. And then I haven't seen him in real life, but I'm moving friday right i'm moving in a week so i'm like even if he knows where i live like what is he gonna do i'm not gonna be there after so he came over from work and apparently he works super close to the plateau so he's in my, at my house and i see him no fucking lie i was like he's not attractive but but i find him it's so weird i don't know why my head is like kind of maybe it's confused but when i saw him i literally lied to him because i was nervous and i was like I don't know if he's my type but he's like attractive so i kind of told him that my sister needed me in the morning and we couldn't hang out and i have to go to bed right and he literally came all the way to my house in a fucking bus and metro okay y'all like uh... anyways so he was like i hugged him because that's just like what i do now i know not to hug like guys that i just met but like it's just like a reflex when i'm like meeting my friends i'm like i'm hugging them my sister whatever so i hugged him because i was like oh poor you whatever so he leaves and then i couldn't sleep because like it was like midnight one and we we're talking and he was like oh i'm glad i got to see you even though we didn't go on a date and i was a little thirsty so i was like you know what come back come back i said come back i said come back so he came back right he came back <laughs> at 3 a.m okay i have neighbors i have fucking neighbors okay never because and i told him like wear something that like you can kind of disguise like disguise whatever like wear like a hoodie and a hat and like like joggers whatever so I, so like my neighbors won't really see your face because i don't want to be that girl that's like hooking up i don't know like i just don't want people to think that i'd be having like I'll be fucking it. But we did not do anything. He came over and then I started making out. Like I know it sounds like crazy, but in my head I thought we were on the same page. Like it's 3 a.m. Like I'm trying to kiss. Like I'm trying to make out. But I get it. Okay, maybe he's a little too thirsty. But I in my head I literally was like, I thought he understood it was like a hookup, right? But like hooking up as like kissing, not like having sex. So I told him like we're not gonna have sex. But we're gonna like kiss and stuff, right? And he stopped me. He was like, wait, wait, like, let's talk first. Let's get to know each other. And that threw me off. Like, that threw my whole fucking game. Because I was like, okay, we're gonna make out a little bit. Kissy, kissy, kissy. And I might throw him out at, like early in the morning. But then he started like talking. He was talking so much. And I was like, it's 3 a.m. First of all, second of all, I'm, I just wanna make out. I'm 36, but like, shut the fuck up. But also, he was like, he was like, oh my goodness, your, your eyes are so like, are so beautiful, like they're so kind. Like, I'm trying to, <laughs> what the fuck are you saying? I was like confused. I'm like, what is he saying? I like, I am trying to do all that, whatever. But then when he said all that shit, like, it played with my mind because I was like, I was city girl, and I went from city girl to love a girl. Okay. So he was like. Oh, I want to know more about you. Blah, blah, blah. He started talk, tell, telling me like his whole situation with like his life and studies, and he's doing you know his dream job as like a chef, whatever. And I'm like, great, can we make out? Can we fucking make out? Like, I yeah. So we make out and stuff, but obviously, like you know, I think he understood that I wanted to like make out and not like invite him at three a.m. to have a dissertation. Okay, we were making out, whatever. He did the do. 
ate the cookie, but he did not. Nothing happened like more than that because he's in a polyamorous relationship. Okay, no offense, but it's just not my thing. And I'm so cautious in general, and I don't want to be sharing someone with thousands of people. So I'm like, ugh. I started looking at I I started to like him and stuff. And in the morning, oh by the way, I faked and oh yeah, because I couldn't like my neighbors were upstairs. Like I could hear them like waking up because we're like making out and stuff. So I couldn't concentrate, and I faked. I faked it so he thinks he like did some shit but he didn't do anything anyways um in the morning he was working at two and he brought his like clothes for work with him and he thought he was gonna stay at my place till two and i kicked him out at like 11 okay i couldn't do it i'm sorry i can't do the whole cuddling shit with someone that i'm not in a relationship with i know that he'd be doing that shit with other people so it's like you can't have both, okay? I can only be either love a girl or a city girl. I cannot be city girl and love a girl. Like, it doesn't it doesn't match. So, yada, yada, yada. Um, he was kind of pissed because, like, I when I said, like, okay, you need to go home, he literally took, like, an hour to get ready. It was so awkward. Like, he made it so fucking awkward. I'm like, get the fuck out of my house. Like, in my head, I, I was thinking that, but then I was like, oh, like, you know what? I, I need to sleep. I can't sleep, like you're kind of like snoring and stuff like that i breathe hard when i sleep too but he was like snoring and he kind of was like what the fuck he took so long to wake up he started like kissing me and stuff and the thing is like i like to brush my teeth before making out like it's like tmi so like, i was like ah. i was attracted to him like obviously but it's like there are some things like there's like little things that i i need to do it's like brushing my teeth whatever he started making out with me in the morning and that just threw me off and i was like i don't even know you you're in a polyamorous relationship this is doing too much like whatever so he takes his tap and his stuff and he started talking like he's literally just saying i don't know what he's saying he's literally talking 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 i don't know what he's saying it's too early like it's 11 we did not like sleep at all like almost he's asking me a question i don't know what to say because i don't know what he's saying but i'm just kind of laughing and being like <laughs> He shows me his tattoo on his ass, okay? I swear to God, I was like so confused what the fuck is happening. Cause I have two tattoos. I have one here and one on my back. And he's like, haha, like I tattoo, like I actually do tattoos. I tattoo girls for fun, whatever. Girls for fun. And he shows me he has a tattoo on his butt. And I'm like, literally like the neighbor, the neighbor's door, he's literally like next to my door. And he was standing on the door saying all that shit. Ugh. And I was like, shut the fuck up. Like, literally, I just like things that are private. Like, if you're going to come over, like, no. Um, but anyway, so I just like to do things privately. You know what I mean? He was talking too much, okay? I don't, I don't want to know about whatever is going on in your life. Um, <laughs> Yo, this bathroom thing is not going to work. But anyways. So he was like blah, 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 talking, talking, talking. And then when he said he was taking a bus, that just like threw me off. And I get it. I'm not judging. Like I said, I don't have a car, but I don't have a license. Like I'm close to my license, but I don't have a license. I can't really drive. Like I have a good excuse. And anyways, so, and then he, ugh, the whole thing was a mess. Okay. And then like, he kind of realized that I was like, I am kind of thick-ish, I guess. And he, the night when we were like making out, he kept saying like, oh, I never like, I never dated a girl that was like older than 5'5". Five five. Do I give a fuck? Do I give I'm like, okay. He was saying things like that and I was like, is he trying to say that I'm not his type or is he just saying that because he's nervous? Because he was like, uh, rum uh, what is it? When you're like mumbling, whatever. Because he was like talking, 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 talking. I talk a lot. So it's like, we can be both. Like, anyways. Um... I was saying like oh my gosh the first girl that i like and he said dated i was like dated we're not dating baby like we're making out but anyways it's like i never dated a girl that's like taller than five five i'm five seven like yeah so what anyways so he leaves right finally i'm like <laughs> i cannot do the whole like good morning baby thing like no we're not dating so bye he wasn't trying to leave and I know I sound insensitive, but it's just like logically 
we're not dating like can you just go anyway so he left and then um we didn't really talk that much like we texted a little bit but i could tell his vibe was off because the whole morning before he left like when we were in bed he was like asking me can i take you on a date can i take you on a date and i was like oh we're gonna see you're gonna see but i think he thought i wasn't interested it's just because it's too much like let me think i don't know and the night before he was like oh like you know this is fun but like i want to get to know you da, da, da. <sighs> okay i if i'm like dating someone we're getting married having kids like i'm not trying to have kids with you and we're not gonna sleep together so what you want to do anyways um <laughs> And then, so I'm like, uh, I'm like, yeah, sure, we can go, I guess. Because he was asking me, so I was like, we can go today. And then he cancels. So I gave him a chance, and then he canceled. So, yeah. I had to bounce. Anyways, I'll continue after the vlog, but it's so 